Hello and good morning. Happy Wednesday. Who's ready to work? Let me know when you are all ready to go. Send me a little emoji, a little message. Let me know you are ready. We have med ball madness today. So we're going to do a strength circuit for three rounds. And there we go. All right, make sure you have water, some sort of weight. If you don't have a med ball, totally fine. We can make it work without. Um, hello, good morning. Um, if you have uh, one heavy dumb dumbbell, uh, hello, good morning. Um, if you have uh, one heavy dumb dumbbell um, or a kettlebell, we can definitely make that work. So <clears throat> find something that will can be used as resistance. And we will get ready to rock and roll in 30 more seconds. Give a few moments for those who are joining me live to get logged in and ready to rock and roll. All right. Good morning. I have Heather and Susanna. I have mom there. Hello, hello. Um, if you've never worked out with me before, I'm Megan Barron. I live in the Pacific Northwest. I own a small fitness company that specializes in outdoor fitness. Um, and I've been doing free online workouts for the past five-ish months, maybe more. I don't know. Um, it's all a blur. What is time? I don't know. Good morning. Um, so, a couple of things to consider when you're working out with me or with anybody. Go at your own pace. Listen to your body. Even if I'm encouraging you and pushing you to dig deeper and your body's talking and saying a different message, your body always is the one you need to honor. So take breaks as you need them. Listen for cues to modify. Good morning, Kim. Um, and let's get ready to work. I'm excited. I haven't done a med ball workout online before. So I mentioned it before. If you have a medicine ball, great. I'm gonna use a 15 pound bell, um, use what you have. If you have a dumbbell, like a larger dumbbell, heavier dumbbell, um, something you still need to be able to press over your head safely without low back stuff. Um, heavy pillow, basketball, I mean, use what you have at home. Kettlebell, um, small child, no, I don't recommend that actually, uh, just kidding. All right, let's get warmed up. Let's get ready to rock and roll on this Wednesday. Here we go, here we go. All right, let's start with a jog. Oh, I gotta fix my camera. Hello. <laughs> Your head, watermelon, that would be risky. But that could work out later though. Nice little jog, shake out those arms. Inhale through the nose. Except through the mouth. All right. Good. Let's bring those arms up. Feet are still jogging. Good. How are we feeling for Monday, team? It felt really good. I loved Monday's workout. Super fun. Feeling strong. Feeling healthy. Midge sore. Good. Let's go into some high knees or aggressive marching, okay? Up to you. Now, this workout today is a minimal amount of jumping. All right. Lots of fun getting the full body into it, as always. Butt kickers, heels to glutes. Swing those arms from the shoulder. So we have a 90 degree bend in those elbows, but we are moving from that shoulder joint. Nice and light on those toes. Excellent. Jogging to the end of your mat or a space where you can move laterally. Get low in that squat. Shuffle low. Good. Good. This time we're going to add a floor touch. Opposite hand, opposite foot. Get low. Now we're not rounding that back. We're bending the knees to hinge the hips to reach the ground. Let's go. 
Good, last one here. Excellent, bring it back. Good, white feet. Let's go down sumo. Good, sumo, and up. Now on these sumos, I want you to be able to see that inner arch of your foot as you look down. I don't want you to get in the habit of looking down, but just a quick check. If we can't see the inner arch of our foot, we need to either widen the feet or think about pushing those knees out back behind. Good, arms up as we come down, elbows down to knees. Hello. Ooh, it feels good to move in the morning. I don't know about you, but I have a lot to do today. And this is part of it. This is the, the primer, right? Good, arms out wide, hold low, bend laterally to one side, middle, other side, hold, middle, release the legs. Let's do that again, low, bend, middle, bend, middle, up, one more time. Nice. Now, I have a little dance experience. No grace is required for my workouts, I promise you. Even when we get into some bar stuff, you don't have to be graceful. You just got to move your body. Good. Shake it out. We're going to go forward lunge. All right. Roll those shoulders back. Forward lunge. Good. Find your space. Hips are squared up. You have equal pressure between the back toe, the front heel. That knee is pointing down to the ground. Hold it here. Good. From here, press that front leg straight. Back knee can come in a little bit. A little stretch. Good, to feel that in that front leg. Nice flat back, go back to that lunge. Good, and forward. So we're shifting that weight from the back foot to the front foot almost completely. Good, but notice I'm not rolling those shoulders. Just a shift. Yep. Give me one more of those, we'll switch legs. Other leg. Let's go, we're gonna step it forward, forward lunge. There it is, so we're gonna find that perfect position. Front knee over the heel, hips are squared up, shoulders stacked over hips. Good, back knee pointed down, equal pressure between those feet. From here we shift forward, straighten that front leg. Now I don't want you to lock it out, okay? There's not much we do where we lock out those legs. Best practice is to have some softness, right? So you can absorb any Movement or power that you have going on. Nice flat back, belly button tight. And a couple more here. Excellent. Last one. Good. Shake it out. Excellent, team. All right, we need to get some rotation. So if you can do grapevine on the spot, step behind, step in front, step behind, step in front. Okay? Gonna look something like this. The idea being, we have a nice long spine and we are rotating opposite upper body, lower body on that spine. Excellent. All right, plant those feet. Arms bent, but holding palms down to the ground. More rotation. Good. Lift a knee. Excellent team. Good, let's do one more each side. Excellent, we're gonna step out, lateral lunge. On this lateral lunge, you are sitting those hips really far back. Okay, really far back, flat back. That knee is still over the heel. Good, up and over to the other side. Again, same thing, hinge. I should be able to read whatever logo is on your imaginary t-shirt, right? And then back to the other side. Maybe you can sink a little lower this time. Excellent, other side. Beautiful, hands go down. Walk those feet together. We're gonna try to get those palms and those heels on the mat. Good, bending knees, release the pressure from the back. 
Again, here, it'd be really awesome if we could get our heels down. That would give a nice calf stretch. I'm not quite there, work in progress, right? Press those heels down, nose to knee, straight leg. Beautiful, back down. One more time. Roll up the body vertebrae by vertebrae. Coming all the way up, hands up. And exhale, good quad stretch. All right, med ball med. So if you have a medicine ball, awesome. If not, no worries, we'll make it work. I'll show you how to make it work. We're gonna do a six exercise circuit with an option to add some hip stuff or keep going with strength. So what I love are choices. Variety is the spice of life, lots of choices. So think about what it is that you're hoping for today, okay? Maybe it's just me telling what you what to do and choices are annoying, I don't know. Maybe, hey Lisa, um, maybe you have an idea that today should be a strength day for you. We can make that happen. So know that what I'm saying is customizable and I really want to honor where you are and what you need. Um, it's a little bit harder to do that when we're all over and not in the same space, right? So. Um, I will try to encourage you in that way as often as possible. Six exercises. So if you have a med ball, grab it. If not, a dumbbell. Heavy dumbbell. Let me grab one. All right. Exercise number one. We're going to do a rainbow slam modification. Um, I tell my children not to play with balls in the house, so I have to honor those rules. If you are at a space where you can do a slam, and slam the ball to the ground, awesome. Do it, I recommend it, it's a fantastic exercise. Um, but I cannot. So, we're gonna start in a split squat stance. We are gonna hinge forward, bending the knees. From here, you're gonna lift, press over the head, rotate, and bring it down to the other side, okay? So if you were slamming, you would throw, like this, then you would reach, pick it up and go over. I'm gonna rock and roll right here. It's very important that when you rotate, you're getting all 10 toes faced the direction of your hips. That's gonna keep your hips squared up. I really want that 180 rainbow, okay? So I'm calling these rainbow rotation slams. Um, if you have a weight, right, you're just gonna hold the edges. Same idea. Keeping that core nice and tight. You're going to feel this in the core. You're going to feel this in the quads. Um, really, really good work. So whatever you got, we're going to use it. That's number one. Mountain climbers on ball. Next, you're going to put your hands up on the ball if you have one. Okay, driving those knees in so that when we add that instability, of course, we're getting into that core a little deeper, relying on that, on the, Core muscles for that balance. Okay, you can totally be done on the floor. Um, you can elevate onto a chair and whatnot. Good morning, Kristen. Let's see. Yeah, a little sore, a little bit. Help my inner thighs Monday. Okay, number three, offset squats. Gonna grab your ball or your dumbbell. Hold it on one shoulder. Forward rack, right? I'm just gonna squat it out. Okay, since we're going three rounds total, we're gonna do one full round on one side, one full round on the other side. The last round, we're gonna go half and half. I'll give you half time. Next exercise is a Russian twist, all right? So we're gonna go three times, sitting up nice and tall on that spine. You're gonna go one, two, three here. You're gonna press, still on that side. Right, and then we're gonna go one, two, three. Oh wow, we're on the other side, perfect. Press up, one, two, three, press up. Okay, now option, if you can keep your spine straight, we'll keep those feet up. All right, we're gonna do reverse lunge with a twist. So up on those feet, we're gonna go backwards. Stepping back, okay, we're gonna bring those arms out. Bring it to your pocket, right? So we're shortening the angle. You're going over that front knee, closing the hips. Okay, if you find yourself like this, this is not what I want. No open hips, we're crossing. Okay, so to the pocket, step forward, 
to the pocket. Woo! That board. Pull nice and tight with that core. It's going to keep you from falling over. Aha. All right, last but not least, we're going to go for speed skaters. Getting some lateral movement, holding the ball in your hands, back and forth. So again, if you have a weight, you're going to hold the ends, back and forth, okay? Those are your six exercises in our circuit. Now, here's your option. I have some transition exercises that we're going to do, some little blast or burst exercises to incorporate to make this more of a hit style. So after that first round, your option is stay with the exercise for an additional 15 seconds or we transition into a quick movement. First round is going to be an ab smash. So really opening the hips, closing, exhale. We'll switch sides every other um, exercise, okay? Uh, round two would be a different transition exercise. Round three would be a different one. So you decide if you want to go longer time under tension on those first six exercises that I showed you, in which case you're going to ignore me when I say transition, 15 seconds, and then we'll take a 15 second break, and then we'll hit the next exercise. All right, get it, got it good? Let's go. Got my handy dandy timer. <sighs> okay. Here we go, team. Starting with those rainbow slams, rotational slams, if you will. All right, five seconds to get there, team. Here we go. Focus. Three. Find that split stance. Good. Go low. Press up. Rotate all ten toes facing the wall in front of you. Good. Now we're not falling down into that split squat. We're controlling the weight we have. Let's go, let's go. Good. 10 more seconds here. And then you have your option. Ab smash or stay with it. Woo. Forward. Three, two, one. Good. Ab smash. Pick a side, open and rotate. Your stability leg has 95% of your weight. Woo. Good. Two, one, rest. Excellent. So I went right. Remember what leg you went for your transition. We're going mountain climbers. In five, four, three, two. Find the position. Let's go. Perfect plank first before we start driving those knees. Now, if we need to slow it down, slow it down. Let's go. Let's stay in control. We're gazing at the edge of our mat, keeping that neck nice and neutral in alignment with our spine. Belly buttons are pulled in. Squeeze the core. Ten more seconds. Woo. If you're doing the hit style, let's go. Four. Stay with it. Three. Come on. Two. One. Let's go. Other side. Ab smash. Exhale as you meet the knee to the ball. Really try to rotate and open those hips. Open the shoulders. Yes. One, and rest. Good work. All right, we're going offset squats next. 10 second recovery. So pick a side. If you have a dumbbell, look like this, or kettlebell, right? Let's go, pick a side. Go another side. Drop it down. Good, now, put that arm out. Engage the entire back here. Yes, get low. Now, on this squat, you're pushing those hips back. Toes can be slightly turned out. You can have your feet closer or farther away. It's up to you. Ten seconds here. Nice flat back. Standing up, open the hips. Squeeze glutes. Two. Back to ab smash if you're doing that. Let's go. Same first side. Uh-huh, uh-huh. There we go, team. Loving it. Rotate, rotate, uh -huh. and rest. All right, Russian twist. So bring it on down to the ground. Good work, good work. Now here, we want to keep that spine really flat. Okay, really flat. Roll those shoulders back, set them back. Let's go. One, two, three, press side. One, two, three, press side. 
Remember, option to lift the feet only when you have that flat spine. And not a lot of wiggling. Let's go 10 seconds. We're going back up for that transition or we're staying here for 15 more seconds. Three, two, one. Let's go. Woo. Loving it. This is a fast moving circuit. So we will get a nice break after we've finished all six. As you go back, then wait to your pocket. Wait to other pocket. Let's go. Three, two, one. Set the shoulders. Come on. Beautiful. As you go up, it's like you're serving the ball, right? Really squeeze it. If it's a weight or a ball, get that chest activated too. Uh huh. 10 seconds here. I want your eyes to follow the ball. Yep. Three, two, one. Ab smash. Let's go. Or stay with those lunges. You're going strength. Yeah. As you pop that toe back out, try not to put any weight on it. Good work. All right. Last but not least, speed skaters, shake out those arms. Ah, feeling good. Break is coming. 45 seconds. Let's go. Two, one, speed skater. Step behind. Now, you can do slow it down, do a curtsy. Okay? Or we're hopping. We have space. Hinging at the waist, but not rolling those shoulders. Good. Halfway. Stay with it. Yeah, we're taking it breathless. Come on, team. Five seconds. You got it. You got it. Bringing that ball again to your pocket. Good. Last one. Add smash. Let's go. Let's go. Last 15 seconds of work. We get a big break coming. Woo! You earned it. But you're not done earning. Let's go. Two. One. And done. Fantastic work, team. Woo! High five. How are we feeling? <laughs> No mercy. <laughs> Love it. Good work, team. Yeah, how's that heart rate feeling? Yes, rocking it. Okay, so I want you to think about what sort of modifications do you need? Hello and goodbye, Kaya. <laughs> um, what kind of modifications do you need? All right, do you need more weight? Do you need to skip that? First transition exercise, right? You want to just keep on with it and just push yourself a little harder. I don't know. Think about what it is that aligns with your goals. What's your goal for today? Okay. Have fun. Move your body. Make some gains. I don't know. You know, and I want you to meet yourself there. Okay. You're warmed up. Mm. Life support. You're strong, my friend. Woo. All right. Feeling good. All right. Make sure we're shaking out those arms. So for your transition exercise, we're going to switch it up. Okay. So we're done with the ab smash. We're going to move into a squat or a squat jump. Gains, baby. That's right. Woo. Um, next Monday, we have a strength day. I'm just going to put that out there. And then next Thursday, uh, what is it? Wednesday. Days of the week. <laughs> I am a kindergartner. Um, next Wednesday, we're going to do a jump rope interval. Okay, so strength on Monday, jump rope interval, so high intensity stuff on Thursday. I don't know why I felt compelled to tell you that. Oh, okay, here we go. Squat jumps, transition exercise. You're going to grab that ball, roll those shoulders back. Option one, we're just going squat. Now, I recognize when we are holding a weight apparatus, and we are moving towards the floor, it is like gravity's job to pull our shoulders forward. This is a no-no. If I could put a big red X across me right now, I'd say, can't, but flat back, okay? I have a little um, like arch, extra arch from my gymnastics days. So try to push through that mid back, okay? So I'm not intentionally arching, that's just my functionality with the anatomy that I have, okay? So as you go low, 
pull those shoulders back and up, okay? So this is where we are, speed squats or squat jumps. Transition exercises. So same six core exercises, core meaning the main idea, the main entree, all right? And then we'll do a round with squat jumps as dessert. All right, are you ready? Woo, I'm already sweaty. Yeah. All right, team, here we go. Back to those rainbow rotational slams. All right. Five seconds to get there on that split squat. Remember, all 10 toes pointed forward. You're not in a lunge, okay? They're not opening that hip joint. We're in a split squat. Rotate. All right, all right, all right. Let's get it done, team. Let's go. Four, three, two, one. Set it up. Set the shoulders. Exhale. In the center. Go, 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 go. Loving it. Now, as you're pressing over your head, really try to keep those shoulders down. Okay, no shoulders for earrings. We should have nice long necks. Yes. Come on, 10 more seconds. Stick it. Stick in it. Let's go. Woo. Three. Two. Seconds. Come on, team. Dig deep. Come on. Excellent. Rest it for mountain climbers coming at you. <sighs> shake it up, shake it up. Five seconds to get there. Find your space. Let's set it up. Perfect point to start. Then we drive those knees. So shoulders are rolled down your back or sled. Slide them down your back. Nice and neutral neck. Come on, halfway. Drive, 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 drive. Give me what you got, team. Give me what you got. Squeeze those glutes. We're not going to sacrifice form for speed. Mindful of both. So let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Squat jumps. Let's roll, let's roll. Roll out. Let's go. Get low. Chest is lifted. Booty's back. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Rest. All right, now you need to shake out those legs because we got squats coming. So remember what side you were holding the ball on or your weight. We're going other side this time, full round. Let's go, load up. Two, one. Woo, let's go. Other arm out, drop it like it's hot. Same principle applies. Keep the chest lifted. Resist the urge to roll. The arm is out to engage that upper back. Okay, yes, ah, weight is in your heels. Come on, seven seconds, you got it. Uh-huh, how's that core feeling? Whoo, booty, yes, squat jumps, let's go. Remembering to breathe, you've got this team, come on. Stay in it, whoo, yes, and rest. Good, down to the mat, brush and twist. Now, we've talked about this before. If you need some help supporting that spine, get a ball, get a rolled up towel to support that low spine. All right, let's go. If your heels are down, you are going to point those toes up. Go, press up, press up, good. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Good work, team. Stay with it. Nice flat spine. Woo, come on. Five more seconds. You got this. Back up on those feet for squat jumps. Woo, let's go. Right on into it. Getting up off the ground. That's the most difficult part. <laughs> kind of like getting out of bed. Woo, but you made it. Let's make this time count. Ah, rest. All right, reverse lunge. Reverse lunge with a twist. Tight, tight, tight core for stability. All right, set it up. Three, two, one. Step it back to the pocket twist. Good. Now, on these lunges, 
settle in both feet. Okay, not just one foot. Level out the weight. I know we're adding that resistance. It can throw us off. Plant the feet first. If we're wobbly, bring it a little slower. Focus on that form. Five seconds. And here we go. Squat jumps. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Check your shoulders. You're doing so great, team. Woo, three, two, one. All right, speed skaters. Last exercise. Round two. Doing so great. Ah. Five, four, pick up that ball. Three, roll those shoulders. Let's go. I want some movement side to side. I want some air between your feet and the ground. Absorbing the ball in. You can make it more aggressive here. Like you're going to pass to somebody. I mean, not the computer or the TV or whatever you're watching me on, but <laughs> let's go. 10 seconds. Uh huh. Woo! Breaks coming, breaks coming. We got some squats to get through. Let's go, squat jumps. Come on, everybody jumping. Let's go, team. You know that break's coming. Ah. Woo. Uh huh. Three, two, one. Boom. That's how we do it. Round two. High five. Yes. Good work. Woo. All right, if you have a phone, I want you to take a sweaty selfie right now, okay? Because you've already shown up two thirds of the work done. We only have a little bit more to go. You put in the work, we're gonna keep it going. I have no reason to believe we're not. Take that sweaty selfie. I'll be in the background, huh? Hey, show me the guns. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, couch cushion, that's fantastic for a Russian twist. Great idea, love it. Ah, whew, let that heart rate come down. Inhale, exhale. We wanna kinda of come back down to stasis. Oh yeah. <laughs> snap, is that a snap? You guys, I might have to get readers, this is so bad. I did get my blue light blockers though, those help a lot. Ay, ay, ay. Loving it, loving it. Woo, deep breath. All right, shake it out. We have one more round. We're gonna give it just a little more rest time. Active recovery, don't sit down on me. All right, team, what's your plan? So you've worked out with me Monday and Wednesday. What's your plan? Friday, Saturday, what you got going on? Let's, let's map it out right now and commit. Sweating it all out, yes. What's your plan? Friday, Saturday, Sunday, what you gonna get in? I, if you don't already have a plan, let's make one. Let's commit to it. Because if you don't make the space, you know it's not gonna happen, right? It doesn't just organically happen. Oh, I think back to the times in life I had all, like just all I had was time. That was my greatest commodity, right? Abundance. And did I use it well? No, no, I did not. Now that I have very little, I am so much better at finding moments, right? Finding space. So, all right. How are we feeling? Are we ready? Did we come down enough? Are we ready? Yes, 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 yes. I hear it. I hear it coming through. All right, team, here we go. Your last transition. Whoop, whoop. Last transition is hammer jack, okay? So the feet are gonna be jumping out and in like a jack, okay? Like a jumping jack out and in. Your arms are gonna do curls with the ball or with your weight or whatever you have, okay? So it's out, up, in, down. Um, if we are not jumping, we're gonna step together apart together okay that's what we got that's what we got spin spin yes yes love it and replays yes saturday workout on the hills at the local park love it 
Love it, love it, love it. Um, yeah, you know, there's like 40, at least 40 workouts on this channel. Replay, hit the replay, add heavier weights, maybe stretch out the duration, maybe bring some speed, weighted vest. Such a great resource. Um, I will likely continue these workouts through August and then I'm gonna need to take a little break as I hit school even harder and learn how to homeschool my kids. So I will take a little break and figure out if and how and when we can continue meeting together online in September. So use this as a resource. Involve your friends. Think about who you need to get out, get moving. Staying six feet apart, right? All right. We talked about transition. We talked about, oh yeah, I got a sweaty selfie. Nice. We talked about our last round. Set the mind team. Here we go. Last round, best round. Woo, five seconds to get there. Rotational slams. I gave you lots of time to roll. Let's go. Get it low. And go. Come on, team. 15 seconds. Let's go. Nice flat back. Nice flat back. Controlling that ball. Give me 10. Four. Three. Two. All right. Here we go. Hammer jacks. Out and in with those feet. Bicep curls. Woo, that's a killer combo. Oh, yeah. Tight tummy here. Remember, you can step it side to side. Keeping it lower impact. And roast. Mountain climbers. I got those arms. Mountain climbers. Here we go. Five seconds to get there. Four, three, two, one. Let's go. Drive those knees. Woo, woo, woo. Come on. Firing on that core. Now, it's important that your wrists are happy. If up on the ball is not a happy place, bring them down to the ground. If that's still not a happy place, elevate them. Go on your elbows. Yes, 10 more seconds. Let's go, team. Come on. Woo, woo. Last round, best round, last round, best round, last round, best round. Five, four, three, two, one. Hammer jacks. Ah. Let's go. This is where my biceps are questioning my choice in med ball. I almost grabbed the 20. I would not be able to talk. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Woo, all right. Offset squats. All right, we're gonna go half, half. Quick transition. Just keep squatting. Five seconds. Oh, we're gonna get here. Let's go, find that shoulder. Woo, get low, get low, get low, get low. Nice tight core. Good. Elbow pointed down. Best. Come on. Switch. Keep it going. Oh, yeah. Feel the difference, right? Offset squats. So good. It's important to give the body a challenge. This is a great way to do it. Load one side of the body or one side harder, higher. Great way to mix things up. Let's go, let's go. Transition. Quick. Three, two, one. Rest, brush, and twist. Bring it down, friends. Ah. Okay. So, be careful of that tailbone, right? You can double, triple fold your mat. Here we go. Set the spine, set the core. Here we go. One, two, three. Stay side press. One, two, three, stay side press. Good. I know we're tired, let's stay with that form. Where can you meet your body? Have that level of challenge and safety. Bring it there, toe the line, let's go. Come on, how do you know unless you try? Four, Woo. come on, bring it up. Hammer jacks, hammer jacks, let's go. Hey. Three, two, one. All right. Okay, reverse lunge with a twist. Let's get so sweaty after that. 
reverse lunge. Oh yeah, Lisa. Are you doing it online, turbo kick, or in a park? I wanna come, I wanna come. Let's go, reverse. Pull to that pocket with control. Good. Coming center. Good. Good, now, we, our hip wants to roll out. Don't let it, let's stay. Keep it in that plane. And rotate, good. 10 more seconds here. Yes, team. The whole body is in on it. So let's go. Hammer jacks. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I hear my water sloshing. Come on, come on. One. And done. All right, speed skaters. Last one. Speed skater. Hammer jack. Let's do this. In five. Shake out those arms, team. Come on. Dig deep. I want you to give me what you got right here. Let's roll. Good. Good. Nice and light on those feet. Power and grace. Not graceful, but soft landings. Yeah. More of a control, right? Ten seconds. Come on. Give me what you got. Let's go faster. Woo. Five. Four, two, one. Last set of hammer jacks. I promise. Come on, give me it. Woo! You did not show up to give up right now. Come on. Ah. Ah. And rest. Beautiful work. All right. Yes. Fantastic work, team. Get some water. Towel it off, get some water. We're staying on our feet, active recovery. So you're walking around, you're elongating your exhales, you're shaking out those arms and legs. But you look at the clock and you're like, oh no, 15 more minutes? Oh no. We're a little finisher, friends. A little finisher for you. So we're gonna bring that heart rate down. Shake out those arms, keep it moving. Yeah, the biceps got in there. I love that. Good. How are we feeling? Feeling good? Love and hate, I know, right? Love and hate the transitions. Sometimes it feels like a welcome break for me. And I'm like, what am I thinking? Especially when those transitions end up being burpees. Ah, just give me the burpees. Ah, okay. So we are gonna do a little pyramid finisher, Oli but goody. Throw back to the OG hardcore fitness group days. So Juliana, if you ever see this, this one's for you. We're gonna do a descending pyramid, all right? We have two exercises. You start with 10 reps each, alternating the exercises. So we go 10 of this one, 10 of this one, nine, nine, eight, eight, seven, seven, work your way all the way down to one. All right, all right, all right. So. I'm gonna, yeah, Kim knows. She was there, original, original member. All right, so if you have a weight and you feel safe using it, let's use it. All right, two exercises. One, going to be a sit up, okay? So option with a weight apparatus, hold that um, weight above the head, right? Extend those arms, 90 degrees. We're going up one. Two, you want to try to keep that weight over your shoulders, your center of gravity, and move the shoulders under the hips, okay? So, 10 sit-ups. Now, if we're without weight, we're here, nice step back. Um, we could do a straight leg sit-up, right? So, sometimes when we do ab work, our hip flexors take over. So, we need to try different ways of moving so that it stays in our core. So, one of the ways you can try is to straighten out those legs a little bit, okay? Um, Third option would be to do a crunch, right? All right. Still sore from my Saturday or Sunday kettlebell experiment. So I'm not going to crunch. But that's exercise number one. Sit up. The exercise number two is going to be a push up. Okay. So again, lots of options here. We can do offset. 
right? So you could do half reps on one side, half reps on the other side. You could do full reps on your ball, right? Or if you have two weights, you could do it there. It would increase some forearm strength if and only if that keeps your wrist happy. If they are talking to you, absolutely not. Let it go. We can do push-ups on the floor, push-ups on our knees, okay? Whatever style you are at in this moment. We have 10, 10, 9, 9, 8, 8, 7, 7, 6, 6, 5, 5, 4, 4, 3, 2, 2, 1, 1, and done. All right, so let's stop me from talking. I have some minutes. I'm going to stop us so we have enough time to stretch, but let's get moving, team. All right, it's going to be at our own pace, but I'm going to keep encouraging you and getting you through. So starting with those sit-ups, let's get 10 reps in. All right, here we go. You do you right here. We're going to take it. Home right here. Give me 10 reps. I'm at five. Let's go, let's go. Once you've gotten your reps in, let's move to those push ups. Woo, let's go. Let's go, get those 10 in. And back to sit ups, nine reps on your second round. So we're decreasing those reps by one, which feels so good when you get down to five, maybe. Yes, and then the rest fly by. Remember, only nine. All right. Push ups, push ups. Let's keep it going, team. Keep it going. You've got this. Try not to take as many, like, long breaks, short breaks here. All right, come on eight. Let's go, let's go. You can do this. All right. Now, if your shoulders are burning, you could come to the clavicle, okay? But you're likely gonna do more with your biceps than you are your core, okay? So you might wanna consider just bringing it down like the weight down. Push ups. Let's go. Ooh, another option I did mention is like a foot up on the ball for your push ups. Let's try it. And do it. Push it up. Woo! <laughs> I got three good ones. Come on. Let's go team, let's go. Where are you at? Come on, let's get there. Woo! Work for it. Let's get it, let's get it. Here we go. Ooh, we're going burnout. Loving it. All right, one more minute, team. Here we go. How can how far can low can you go? I'm on sixes. So much slower with the weight. Ooh. Ooh. Yikes. Come on, team. Let's go. Take out those arms if you need to. Ooh. 
think I'm not dying over here. Woo, just a few more seconds. Get it in, get it in, get it in. Come on, don't you stop. And time. Woo, team, good work. Way to fight to the finish. How do you feel? Feel a little burnout? <laughs> oh. Yes, dragging. I know. Did you see me? It's like, whoa. That's where those gains are, my friends. That's where our gains are. Richmond Beach and Facebook Live. Ooh, okay. I'm going to hit you up. I would love to do some kickboxing. Ah, team, super proud of you. You did a fantastic job today. Can you just take a moment and just hold your body in awe? Can we just have this moment of wonder? Like, can you believe your body did that? can't. When I woke up today, there's no way. I was like, whoo, it's going to be tough. I knew it was going to be tough because I wrote the workout, right? There you go. I was ready to stretch. <laughs> but dang, it feels good, right? Whoo. All right. Actually, I'm actually, I'm <laughs> actually, I'm yes. You got baby girl as a weight. I love it. All right. Let's stretch, friends. We have about eight minutes left. And start that recovery process right now. So lots of water. Let's get some good fuel in. You are what you eat, right? So think about how you're going to replenish um, the fuel that you just used. And yeah, get some movement in. I love your plans. I love the spin. I love the turbo kick. I love the hill workout in the park. Walk. It's going to be beautiful in the Northwest. So get out, get moving. It doesn't mean like you have to throw weights around. I just want your body moving. Get in the habit of moving every day, even a little walk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Imagine Kim is so beast mode. <laughs> All right. Woo. Yes, team. Is there anything better? Let's start. We're going to go on the mat today. You earned it. Mat. Rich. All right, let's find our way all the way down. <sighs> Arms come up. Let's roll vertebrae by vertebrae. Arms come overhead, releasing, mounting into that mat. This wants to take a few deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mat or mouth and feel your body just melting into the mat. Here we go. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Circle those arms around, bringing the knees into the chest. Let's send the left leg out to the mat. Right knee stays into the chest. Inhale. And exhale. Big circles with that knee. So getting some rotation in the hip joint. So in, out, down, in, out. Your hand is guiding your leg. <clears throat> Let's go the other direction. Uh, straighten that leg up to the ceiling. Of course, Guy, if you're outside. I think Heather and Suzanne are outside. Good. Rotate that ankle at the top. Excellent. On your next exhale, let's send that leg across the body, keeping your shoulder blades rooted on the mat. Okay, it may not reach the ground, and that's okay. You're gonna Breathe into that place that's stuck. And it will release. Give it some time, some intention. And I want you to notice how your neck feels, your shoulders. Are you tense? Can we melt them into the mat? Can we let them go heavy?
midline. Let's cross that right ankle over the left knee, opening the hip. You're going to reach through, grab your left hamstring, left hamstring, you can quite enunciate that. Keep a gentle tug on the hamstring to open those hips. Beautiful. Knees come into chest. Release the right leg out. Left knee stays into chest. Good. Big circles with the hip. Out and in and up. Good. Switch the direction. On your next exhale, you're going to straighten that leg up. Ooh, real tight here. So I want you to grab on the ankle or the calf or the hamstring. It really depends on your flexibility here. Go to the front knee and join that back. Excellent. Sending that leg across the body. Drop to the floor until you can't, right? Deep breath into that stuck place. Shoulder blades staying rooted on the mat. Give me more space. There we go. Once your foot has gone as low as it's going to go, I want you to take an inventory of your neck and your shoulders. Let them melt into the mat. Good, coming back to midline. Cross that left knee over the right, left ankle over the right knee, pardon me. Pulling on that right hamstring. Feeling an opening in the hips and the glutes here. If you're not feeling it, feel free to add a little pressure on that knee. Just a little bit. Good. Bring the knees into the chest. We're going to rock side to side. Give that sacrum a massage. All right, rocking forward and back. Excellent. See if you can sit to balance. Can you find balance? All right, standing up. One stretch here. Good work, good work. Other side. Beautiful. Give me a nice deep breath, team. You did a fantastic job today. Inhale and exhale. Give yourselves a round of applause. Hey, hey. <sighs> Ooh. Strawberries and pancakes sounds awesome. All right, team. Beautiful job today. Have a great rest of your week, and I'll look forward to seeing you Monday for strength. All right. And next Wednesday for some jump rope hit intervals. Find a jump rope if you don't have one. Make it a great day. Take care, team. So proud of you.